constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. The handing over ceremony was signed this morning at a ceremony on hospital premises presided over by President Maitri Pala Sena. Dr. Neville Fernando, Minister of Health Dr. Rajita Senaratna and Minister of Higher Education Lakshman Kiriyalla were present at the occasion. I did not start SITEM with the intention of making money. Back in 2005, the Minister of Higher Education said that 250,000 students sit for the advanced level examinations, but only 18,000 of them get selected out of the 100,000 students who are eligible for universities. He asked anybody with money to come and build a private medical college, and I started this upon his request. A lot of students obtained three A's and still couldn't get into a government university. Such students have a future through SITEM. The agreement was signed by Dr. Neville Fernando, the Secretary to the Ministry of Health, Anul Rajai Vikrama, and the General Manager of the Bank of Ceylon, D.M. Gunasekara. Accordingly, health services will begin on the 1st of August. Many newspapers cited that the government is taking over the Neville Fernanda Hospital along with its debt burden. That's an utter lie. This is more of a gift than a takeover. Also, Dr. Neville has personally signed an agreement to pay the entirety of his debt. This country did not have a set of standards regarding medical education. The fault is not that of SITEM. Dr. Neville asked for the minimum standards in the year 2009, but the then chairman of the Medical Council said that there is no such standard. So who should be blamed for that? There are only 65 doctors per 100,000 people in the country today. But if we are to develop healthcare services in the country, we need to have at least 200 doctors per 100,000. So we need many more such medical colleges in the country. I assure that no staff members will lose their job. We promise to further develop the medical college.